Robert Curson, Rocket Men, The Daring Odyssey of Apollo 8 and the Astronauts Who Made Man's First Journey to the Moon. Get ready to embark on a thrilling journey back to 1946 as we explore Rocket Men, The Daring Odyssey of Apollo 8 and the Astronauts Who Made Man's First Journey to the Moon by Robert Curson. This book summary takes you through the tumultuous years of the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States, highlighting key events and the extraordinary achievements of both nations. Immerse yourself in the gripping story of Apollo 8, which eventually laid the foundation for the historic moon landing. We'll delve into the experiences of the astronauts aboard the spacecraft, as well as the dedicated support of their families and the tireless efforts of countless others behind the scenes. The Space Race In the aftermath of World War II, the United States and the Soviet Union engaged in an ideological battle for scientific and technological dominance. The Soviet Union launched the first satellite, Sputnik, and sent Yuri Gagarin as the first human being into space. The United States, lagging behind, established NASA and aimed to send a man to the moon by the end of the decade. The space race sparked incredible innovation and pushed both countries to achieve the impossible. A year of turmoil. In 1968, the world was shaken by counterculture and progressive movements. The U.S. was embroiled in the Vietnam War, and in January of that year, the Tet Offensive caught U.S. and South Vietnamese forces off guard. This revealed the emptiness of President Lyndon B. Johnson's claims of victory, and the war deeply divided America. Meanwhile, the civil rights movement gained ground, but the country was still on the verge of becoming two societies, one black, one white, separate and unequal. Tragically, civil rights leader Martin Luther King, Jr. was assassinated in April, and in June, presidential candidate Robert Kennedy met the same fate. Despite the turmoil, a moon landing remained a hope for unity. Apollo 8, A Mission to Orbit the Moon NASA's Apollo 8 mission aimed to orbit the moon provide a detailed understanding of the far side, which hadn't been seen by humans. Its success would be significant for future moon missions, as the mission's planning and scientific calculations provided a foundation for them. The astronauts on board would obtain an incredible record of lunar history, from every impact crater to piece of debris. Although Apollo 8 wasn't to land on the moon, it was critical that it orbited close enough to scout potential landing sites without crashing. The success of the mission would not only be a blow to the Soviets but also lay the groundwork for future space missions. NASA's Risky Race to the Moon In 1968, NASA pushed through challenges and tragedy to beat the Soviet Union in the race to send a man to the moon. As the space race between the United States and the Soviet Union reached a climax in 1968, NASA faced mounting pressure to reach the moon first. Despite a tragic setback with the Apollo 1 disaster, the Soviet Union was making strides in its own lunar program, and NASA knew it had to act fast. A U.S. intelligence report revealed that the Soviets were planning a manned mission to orbit the moon later that year, and in November, they successfully launched the unmanned Zond 6 spacecraft around the moon. These developments put NASA in a precarious position, but they pressed on with the Apollo program. The push was not without casualties. The Apollo 1 accident claimed the lives of three astronauts during a simulated mission, causing many to question NASA's safety protocols. The agency also experienced a setback with the Saturn V rocket, a critical component in the Apollo program. During a test flight, the rocket malfunctioned and suffered damage, which could have derailed the mission entirely. Despite these obstacles, NASA pressed on and successfully launched the Apollo 8 spacecraft with a crew of three in December 1968. The mission was historic, as it marked the first time humans had ever left Earth's orbit and orbited the Moon. The mission's success paved the way for future Apollo missions, eventually leading to the first Moon landing in 1969. NASA's push to beat the Soviet Union to the Moon was a risky endeavor that ultimately paid off. The agency faced unforeseen challenges and setbacks but persevered through them all. 
In the end, the achievement of landing humans on the moon was a testament to the hard work and determination of NASA's engineers and astronauts. Apollo 7, The Testing Before the Great Leap In October 1968, before Apollo 8 was launched, NASA engineers designed a testing mission called Apollo 7. This was to ensure the safety of their next lunar mission and prevent another disaster. The three astronauts on board, Jim Lovell, Bill Anders, and Frank Borman, had different motivations, but they worked extraordinarily well as a team. Although they encountered several technological difficulties and even got head colds, they accomplished their objectives and showed great professionalism. Lovell had a passion for space exploration, Anders was interested in geology and exploration, and Borman wanted the U.S. to beat the Soviet Union in the space race. Despite their differences, Lovell and Borman had previously worked together on Gemini 7 and had formed a great friendship. The three astronauts worked well as a team, and Borman specifically admired Anders' work ethic and integrity. Apollo 7 was a significant test for NASA, but it proved that they can achieve anything with highly motivated individuals, a functional team, and careful testing. Apollo 8's Journey, a precision mission to the moon's orbit Engineer George Lowe's idea of attempting a simplified mission led to a groundbreaking achievement, Apollo 8's journey to the moon's orbit. Despite being a simpler version, the task was still incredibly complicated, with accurate calculations and meticulous planning being a must. The Lunar Orbital Insertion, LOI, maneuver was the perfect example of this. As Apollo 8 went behind the moon, communication would be lost, and LOI had to be faultless for the mission to be successful. Furthermore, the spacecraft carried equipment that was untested in space, such as the heat shield that was to protect the astronauts from the extreme temperatures during re-entry. Bill Anders, one of the astronauts, was terrified to see baseball-sized chunks coming off the shield, but they were, in reality, only grain-sized. The success of Apollo 8, with nearly every step working out as planned, was a remarkable and awe-inspiring achievement. The untold support behind Apollo mission The Apollo mission was a result of the unheralded support of numerous committed individuals, including the astronauts' wives, NASA scientists, and mission control. The Apollo mission was one of the greatest achievements in human history, but it was not accomplished by the three astronauts alone. Behind the scenes, there were countless individuals who contributed to the mission's success, including the unsung heroes like the astronauts' wives, NASA scientists, and mission control. The wives of the astronauts played a vital role during the Apollo mission. They took on the responsibility of taking care of the children while their husbands were away. During the Apollo 8 mission, they also had to stay strong and composed despite the intense pressure from the international media. Susan Borman even created a secret code in a message to her husband to assure him that everything was fine at home, so he could focus on his mission. The support of the NASA scientists and administrators was also crucial in ensuring the mission's success. The scientists designed and developed the spacecraft and equipment, while the administrators managed the logistics and schedules. And of course, the mission control team played a pivotal role in monitoring the astronauts' safety and guiding them throughout the mission. The astronauts themselves acknowledged the critical role of everyone involved in the mission's success. During the USS Yorktown's recovery mission, Borman thanked all those who contributed to the mission's success, emphasizing that they were just one part of the team. In conclusion, the Apollo mission was not accomplished solely by the three astronauts. There were numerous committed individuals who contributed tirelessly to the mission's success, including the astronauts' wives, NASA scientists, administrators, mission control, and countless others. Their contribution, though often untold, was invaluable and allowed the mission to achieve what was once thought impossible. The Enduring Achievements of the Apollo 8 Flight The Apollo 8 mission was more than just a scientific and technological success. It produced two enduring achievements that changed people's perception of Earth, Bill Anders's photograph Earthrise, which captured the beauty and fragility of our planet, and the crew's televised Christmas address, which emphasized our shared humanity and the power of faith. Despite being driven by political motivations, the mission's true rewards were much greater and continue to inspire us today.
Rocketman summarizes the thrilling and daring odyssey of Apollo 8 and the astronauts who made man's first journey to the moon. Despite numerous challenges, these brave men, along with their unwavering support system, managed to complete their mission and bring about a profound change in humanity's perspective of Earth. The photograph Earthrise and the crew's televised Christmas address serve as reminders of the unity and interconnectedness of human beings across national borders. Although the space race was initially driven by political agendas, the accomplishments of Apollo 8 transcended these limitations and left a lasting impact on our shared humanity.